Hello guys, it's me Simu Orohara and in this video we will talk about the true power of the legendary Bankai of Yamamoto Zankanotachi because it's strange how Kobo ruined Yamamoto in many ways the first of them, Yamamoto's fights ended with some trick to seal or steal his powers so we didn't have the chance to see his true strength even when Yamamoto released the Bankai against Roid he wasn't fighting with his true strength because he was originally fighting with one arm and this fact may seem an important but believe me if Yamamoto had fought with two arms everything would have changed especially for someone who is professional of sword art and secondly Kobo did not show us the flashback of Yamamoto during his youth while he was fighting and how he fought against Yuhabach and the strangest thing is that even in Yamamoto's fight against Yuhabach 1000 years ago Yamamoto didn't use the full power of Bankai how is that this will be the topic of this video and to start talking about Yamamoto's Bankai, we must ask an important question. When was Yamamoto able to release the Bankai? In my opinion, I think Yamamoto might have been able to release Bankai 2500 or maybe 3000 years ago. Because 2000 years ago, Yamamoto had already established his school, meaning he already mastered the ordinary things of a normal Shinigami, like training to achieve Shikai and Bankai and the rest of the other things such as Kido and Hakoda. So maybe 3000 years ago, Yamamoto was able to release Bankai because his vice captain Sasakibe was able to release Bankai 2000 years ago. In other words, before the first fight between Yamamoto and Yohabach, Yamamoto was already able to use Bankai. 1000 years ago and possibly more than 2000 years ago. Why do I focus on this issue of years? Because Emoto's life which counted in thousands of years was all about battles and here I must clarify another thing. Yamamoto can be considered a perfect example of how a Shinigami can develop until he becomes stronger by age. The opposite of Ichibi who is a special creature. Ichibi is not like any Shinigami because he appeared in the original world with others including Ryu and so he already has special power that enabled him to live all those millions of years unlike Yamaji who made his way from childhood to old age and back to our topic Yamamoto combined two main advantages which are his possession of the most powerful attack in Zanpakuto Ryujin Jaka and then Chime yes Yamamoto had thousands of years of training until his communication with Ryujin Jaka became perfect because if we assume that Yamamoto had a Bankai 2000 years before he fought Yuhabach the first time, imagine with me the amount of strength that Yamamoto developed in strengthening his Bankai to become perfect. For all that, Yamamoto a long time ago mastered his Bankai and formed all those abilities that we have seen in the last arc. And because the Bankai was strong, Yamamoto fought Yuhabach without using the full power of it in their first fight. Can you believe it? Yamamoto Yamamoto defeated the Quincy without showing the true power of his Bankai and this fact was mentioned by Yamamoto himself and here we must talk about an important point why did Yamamoto even in his fight with Yuabach use only a part of his strength the answer is simply because he released the Bankai using the Kindo style we all saw when Zarak used the sword with both hands, his sword hit became on another level of power. So much so that with two hits, he was able to defeat Noitora. And this is how Yamamoto fought Yohabach 1000 years ago. You can see in this panel, he was waving with sword using his two hands and by this way Yamamoto wasn't obligated to use all the directions of his Bankai and even if he used one of those directions he didn't use them in their full power because by using the Kendo the hits become very strong and a hit with the Kendo would explode anything that cuts and I think Yamamoto was using the west direction of the Bankai in his fight against Yoabach as we saw in that short flashback there was a picture of Yamamoto covered by fire. So what I'm trying to reach here is that Yamamoto even when he was partially using the power of Bankai it was a very destructive power because it was strengthened by the Kindo style and Yamamoto is a master of this style he's the one who taught Zaraki how to fight using Kindo and here comes the shocking truth 
what if Yamato used the Bankai in its full power and above all of that with the Kindo style? Yes, I mean with both arms. What could be the strength of the Bankai then? Because what happened to Yamato is really weird. In his first fight against Yohabach, Yamato used Kindo but without using the, the full power of Bankai. And in his last fight, Yamato used his Bankai with his full power but without the Kindo style because his arm was cut off. And in the final arc, when Yamato was looking for Yohabach, he was already planning to release the Bankai in its full power because Yamamoto's soul was filled with feelings of anger and desire for revenge for Sakibi's death because the old Yamamoto was not like the young Yamamoto Old Yamamoto was moved by feelings unlike the former Yamamoto who was brutal, a person who didn't know the meaning of mercy either over his enemies or his followers. However, Yamamoto's fatal mistake was his false pride and this is what Yuhabach said. Yamamoto could have asked Orihime to fix his arm but he didn't or maybe Orihime demanded to treat his arm and he refused. Because just imagine with me, if Yamamoto used Kindo in this scene, Roy would have ceased to exist before Yamamoto could move to use other directions and notice this crack uh, that left by Yamamoto in the ground. If it was Kindo, how would it be? For all this, I said that we haven't seen the true power of Zanka no Tachi because if Yamamoto had used Zanka no Tachi with Kindo, it was possible that his hits would have destroyed the entire city in seconds. And that's why Yamamoto mentioned to the kid Kyoraku that the person in the picture when he wanted to intervene to save the soul society, he made the situation worse. And this is what Yamamoto wanted to avoid in his last fight against Yuhabach. And he mentioned that when he said if we don't finish this quickly, you, me and the soul society everyone will be burned to death. And here another important question arises. Yamamoto stated that he didn't use his true power even a thousand years ago. So is it possible that he used his true power at some point? Or let's say, when did Yamamoto use the Bankai at its full power? And if he did, he used it against who? Who is his enemy other than Yohabach? Is it possible that the picture that Yamamoto was talking about in front uh, of the kid Kyoraku was related to a battle other than the one we think is related to Yohabach's fight a thousand years ago? Especially when Yamamoto talks about it like if it was a long time ago and the social society was in a complete chaos. So I really wished if we knew the time of that scene and how much time had passed since the first Quincy war when Kyoraku was young because that would have given us a closer look at the incident that Yamamoto was referring to. Was it the first Quincy war or another incident? So in the end, the absolute truth is that we didn't have the chance to see the full power of Sanka no Tachi because the old man wasn't able to use both of his arms. And if that happens, I think and I'm sure the entire soul society would be the real hell. But for now, all I want from Kobo is to show us the flashback of 1000 years ago through the anime. I want to see the battle between Yohabach and Yamamoto because as I said many times, that battle is the key for many things. We will be able to see the first Gotei members and how Yamamoto exactly defeated Yohabach and how this last one survived. So this is the end of my video guys and see you in another video.